what's going on everybody on youtube this is the night before target con i'm going to be shooting over to target to see if i can pick up some of these funko pops tonight the official start is tomorrow at 6 a.m online and then whatever time your store opens up for me i'm gonna go push over there right now i did this during sdcc that's how i was able to come away with some of the shared sticker exclusives so go ahead hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel all that there i'm gonna go ahead and get a little gas up in the whip and then see you guys at target if it's a success then it's a success if it's a fail then we just fail but if you don't go you won't know and if you don't try then you won't never know man that's my motto so yeah sit back relax go grab a snack and i see you guys when i get to target all right here we go moment of truth about to walk up in here see if this will work like i said i did this before doing sdcc I was able to get what I wanted. Didn't have to worry about the next day going through the hassle. Actually got to be one of the first people look through the boxes. So see if this is gonna work right now. Let's see, let's see before I ask. It's the old joint. They got the old joint out here. Shells is empty, man. Shells is empty. What's up with all the targets? Not getting nothing. Shells is empty, so it looks like I'm gonna have to ask somebody. See what's up. Limited to three per guest. When they start doing that, that's crazy. Just got up out of Target, man, and they are not releasing any Funko Pops to the public tonight. I spoke with one of the employees, now a new subscriber of the channel. He told me that. Uh, they took everything off the shelves for tomorrow's release. Be here at 8 o'clock in the morning or try to order online and do the pickup in store. But like I was telling him, with doing the pickup in store, the employees are just picking. They're not looking at the boxes. So you might pay for something and then you might get a damaged box. So I'd rather take my chances in the morning, see if I can grab what I want and then get up out of here. That way I can at least select my own box. I might do the pickup in store, but I'm still coming out here in the morning. And I'm going to be out here early so I can try to at least get what I want. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. And uh, have a good night. Day two. So the little app just did some craziness. It said in store only. I'm one of the first people here in line. I got another hour to wait. As you can see, the sun is coming up behind me. So yeah, we're going to go in here, get what we want to get. And get up out of here, man. Remember, if you ain't first, you last. And I'm first. These shelves look the same way it looked last night when I came in here. Empty as fuck. Same way from last night. Just stay right here. There'll be someone that comes out to help you out. Right All right. So I don't know y'all, we're about to find out right now what the scoop is. Section still look dry. She looking like, what the fuck going on? Good morning. The Target Con? Target Con? We just walked over there. So some of the items are like uh, Michael Jordan warm up suit, the Bullseye dog, the uh, Target Con t shirt, uh, Auto from The Simpsons. Got what I wanted to get minus the t shirt. I wanted that, but hopefully uh, somebody will help me out in the group and check the other location that they nearby to see if they can grab a large for me. Other than that, what I got to say is people are savages. I literally watched this girl push this guy out of the way who was in line the same time that I was. I was first. That guy was second. She literally reached over him, grabbed the last uh, bullseye because they only had three in stock and took off. You know what I mean? It's, it's just crazy to even see things like that still happening in 2021. You know, it's, it's, it's just mind boggling. And that man, you know what I mean, stood there with his time, waited. It was kind of chilly out this morning. Just 
uh, to have someone come up, snatch it from underneath him, and dash out of the store. But I'll see you guys back in the studio so we can go over everything that I was able to pick up in today's pickup. We are back in the studio, and it was a crazy morning. You got people being savages over Funko Pops and, you know what I mean, reaching over people and pushing people out of the way. And who I'm talking about is the young lady who you saw the arrow pointing over her. She is the one that was there who came 45 minutes before the store opened. And the guy that was behind me, second in line, he was there at 6.30. I was the first person there, as y'all saw. So I was there by myself for a minute, and then people started showing up. And so he was unfortunately unable to get bullseye because she literally, as he had his hand on, she had more of her hand over the box, and she said, swoosh. Thank you. And took off running. I mean, literally, I should have captured that part, but I was uh, in the mix of trying to get what I wanted. So she wasn't able to push me out of the way and block me from grabbing what I wanted to grab. She really came in on, came in on some dominance and was like, I'm taking over and I'm about to get what I want to get. And she got what she wanted. So it's unfair. It's unfortunate. And I know some people be like, what? But why do you care? Because that's not fair. That man stood out there. And waited for the store to open. And in his mind, he thinking, I got a clear shot to get what I want. I'm second in line, you know. And the other people behind me, they're just going to get what they're going to get. Just like me. I got a clear shot. I'm first. So you're not about to bogart me and about to try to push me out of the way to get something. And I've been here before you. No, you're not going to do that. So that's why I kind of feel, you know what I mean, the way that I do. Because it's not right. It's not fair. If you ain't there... And waiting online, and she literally came 45 minutes before the store opened, and then she had the nerve to say, I was here the whole time. Girl, you was not here the whole time. But, hey, people going to do what they going to do. I was able to walk away with what I was able to walk away with, and I'm totally satisfied. I actually had to travel to another store to go pick up the T-shirt bundle. That's okay. Hey, as long as I got what I wanted, right? So, here is my bag of goodies. That's right. And first up, of course, this was a must, man. I had to grab Auto Man. There's no way I was not grabbing this guy. And let me say this here, that they had a, a good amount of stock of him. More than six, I can say that there. But people was grabbing him. He was the most sought after, I must say, out of this Target Con right here. Everybody wanted Auto Man along with MJ. So check him out. Here's the side of the box. Here is the back. And y'all know from the previous video that we seen a uh, landlord inside FYE, but I did not grab because the box was damaged. Check him out. Look at the headphones on top of his head. And yes, sir. Definitely happy to add Auto Man to the collection. Let me get this box off, I mean this bag off the table. Next, this was an impulse buy after speaking with my guy Mbundo. Funko, I probably just pronounced his name all wrong, and he was uh, talking about tails, and you know what I mean? I was like, let me just pick up one, just in case. Now, I will say this here. Uh, please leave a comment down in the comment section if y'all would like for me to do a giveaway with tails. Y'all want me to include this in March giveaway? Let me know, and depending on how many responses I get, I will base that off of whether I will give this away for March or not. I wanted to give away... Auto Man and MJ, but when I went to the next location, I wasn't able to pick those up because they were sold out. I did not know that you can grab as many as you want and just go to self-checkout because I asked the lady when I turned the camera off, is it one per item? And she was like, yes. She was like, I don't think you're going to be able to go up to the front of the store and check out as many as you would like. So that's the reason behind me not grabbing as many as I wanted to. So next we got Tails black version and he looks dope man as y'all know i got silver back there on the wall in the collection the glow in the dark version i don't have sonic and i'm not sure man i'm really on the fence whether i should keep this or give it to one of you guys so like i said please leave a comment down in the comment section and depending on how many responses i get that will determine the factor of whether or not if i will give it away next of course, this was a must. Warm-up suit, MJ. For those that don't know, Michael Jordan was the first 
uh, Funko Pop that I actually uh, brought before I started collecting Funkos. And the reason being is y'all see these shoes behind me. I also have a sneaker channel that I do shoe reviews, unboxings, and everything related to sneakers. So when Michael Jordan Funko Pops became about, that's the reason behind me picking up a few and adding them uh, here in the studio. So it was only right that I grabbed this one, man. Only right. Definitely dope, man. Check out the side of the box. There is the back. And here is the side. Next, we got Ad Icon Bullseye. And they only had three of these in stock, man. That was crazy. They didn't even have the t-shirt bundle. That's the part that, like, messed my mind up. Because I knew that this was going to be more available than uh, Auto or MJ. I just knew that because it's, it's Target, you know? Why not make this more available? But I guess due to weather conditions, some stores may not have got a complete shipment in. I will say go back and check to see if these become more available in your store and grab them if you wasn't able to get uh, one today. So check him out, man. Definitely dope. Here's the side. You got the Target Con t-shirt on. There's the back of the box. And the other side. And last, like I said, I had to travel to another Target and pick up the t-shirt in my size and a size large. Reason being I copped this t-shirt is because I wanted these two to go together. So I might go back and see if there is another t-shirt available and buy it. And if so, then I will inform you guys and uh, maybe I'll give that away with tails depending on the response I get. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know how your experience was today with Target Con. Was it a fail? Was it a disaster? Uh, was it a success, man? Did you was able to get what you wanted? Love to hear that feedback down in the comment section. Also, I'll see you guys in a brand new video. I thank you guys for watching. Be sure to tell a friend to tell a friend. Subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the like button on the way out. See you guys on the next video. I'm out. Peace.